Yeah, I think so. We watched a lot of them yesterday uh, at training, and they do they do fly forward. Uh, they're very aggressive in their defending, uh, but hopefully, I, I know they conceded quite a few goals from set pieces and corners. Uh, so hopefully, we can catch them catch them on that and uh, and win the game. Yeah, a roar from the home support here, just literally right underneath it. So it's Danny Whitehead who got his underway for AFC Fall. Oh my word! It is a goal straight away. I don't believe it, Ben. I think it was Danny Whitehead as well, the number 23 he struck. We have literally got, what, 15 seconds on the clock. Ben Coker next to me, he's got his hand, his head in his hands. He can't quite believe it. And the hive is absolutely stunned, Ben. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. It was just an easy header, then a second ball, and then he struck it well, to be fair. But just shell-shocked a little bit. That's who gets it forward. Here is Kabamba. Nine goals this season. Here is Armstrong though. He's in the box, he's got options. Oh, and it was well cut out though by Harry Davis. Oh, just to clear that danger, but they have the ball again. It's Zach Brunt. Once again, it's a lovely ball trying to find Pritchard. who's was just stretching a little bit too far and it's going to run out for an AFC file goal kick. Good play there though, Ben, to take it forward. Carnu again on the left side. Going to take on Gordon. They're going to have a good battle on this left side all game. Through it goes to Brunt. We know can strike Hartigan. It's Collins with the strike. Oh, it's just left of the post. Oh, inches away. That was by Zach Brunner with the outside of the foot. Carnu again, now getting the better of Gordon. Is he going to run and have a shot? He did try and load up, but Gordon it recovered and got a vital touch on it. Here's Brunt. Is he going to load up? Has a shot. Worth it, worth the effort from Zach Brunt, but it's over the bar. Not that it would have mattered anyway. <laughs> Right, Max Metcalf now get us back on the way here for AFC Fylde. Trying to find gold and does as well. And now they've got an opportunity. Here is Charman with the strike. Well saved by Walker. He's back up quickly to recover the ball. But just a sign again. You can't keep your eyes off AFC Fylde because they can break very, very quickly. It is. It's a good one as well. Metcalf was stretching for it. Good diving save from him. He was under heavy pressure from Danny Whitehead. Here's Hartigan. Brunt to Collins. Oh, lovely ball to Johnson. Johnson going to try and take his man on this time. It's a good ball. Over to Carnu. Potter's drifting back. Here's Hartigan. He's got an opportunity with Danny Collins. Can he load up on his left foot? He can, but it was rising and always going over the bar. And the Barnet fans just beneath the commentary box here have started to come alive again. They only failed to score in two of the games so far this season as well. Have Barnet, the ball's up. It's loose in the box as well. Metcalf managed to just get a hand to it and palm it away. And Barnett have really started this second half. Just how they finished the first, I'm delighted to say, of the season. The National League North champions from last season. 95 points they managed to acquire. And this is O'Kane already going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Walker. It's Potter. Back to Hartigan, switching it back to the left. It's Collins, whips it in. Kabamba finally gets a whiff at it. It's cleared away by Whitehead. It's Brunstead over it. It's got Hartigan with him for company. The sides go to short option. Hartigan whips it in, no. Oh, it was a lovely ball in. What a wonderful ball. Finds Idris Karnu on the left-hand side. It's going to resume rivalries with Gordon again. Oh, it's a lovely ball through to Brunt, who gets the shot away, and it's just wide right at the post. Only takes a minute, can change in a flash. There's still a long way to go, though. 15 minutes plus injury time. And I imagine there's going to be quite a bit of injury time in this one, Ben. Yeah, massively. We've had, how many yellow cards had? Loads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've, had, we've had two red cards and only one counted. The ball's in the box. Oh! It was a... Bit of pinball at one point in there, but they have managed to get it forward. Back to Hartigan. Switching it out to Reese Hall Johnson. A lovely ball there. 
Johnson running into the box, trying to get the shot away. And it's Callum Stead! The Barnett substitute, he makes it count. The ball just trickles through and there's nothing Metcalf can do. He sees it late, finds the bottom left-hand corner and it's Callum Stead who draws Barnett level. So Sam Barrett stood over it, Hartigan stood over it and Pritchard stood over it. And it is going to be Anthony Hartigan who's going to take it. The call from Ben Coker is he's going to take it low. It hits the wall out for a Barnett corner. Oh, it's a high ball in, it's a dangerous one. Oh, it's hit the post. It was Idris Khan who loaded up, had another opportunity, bounced off the post. It could have gone absolutely anywhere. Here's Zach Brunt. Danger still not clear. The head gets it away, but it's going to fall straight to Hartigan. The far defence have to be at the top of their game to get something out of this one. Could well be the last chance for Barnett to snatch a winner here. Oh, it falls right to Zach Brunt! And it's Kabamba right at the end of the game. It was Zach Brunt who nipped it back in and there was that man, Nicky Kabamba. He's not had a sniff all game and he's made it count right at the death. Unbelievable, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> told you, huh, Nicky. He ain't touched the ball all night, but that's what happens. Unbelievable. The hive has erupted. The AFC file players have dropped to their knees. You can't help but feel a bit sorry for the coasters. They put in such a performance here this evening. Down to 10 men for the last 25 minutes or so. They've soaked up so much pressure.